The fate of two former top JEA executives will soon be in the hands of jurors in Jacksonville. Just in the last 30 minutes, closing arguments have finished in the federal JEA corruption trial. Our Renata De Gregorio is live and she's on your side in the federal courthouse. Renata, tell us about the final thoughts that attorneys left today with those jury members, the two juries in the courtroom. Jeannie, two men who duped everyone to try to steal millions or innovative young leaders who were adapting to industry challenges. These are the two points of view, the arguments that were laid out in court today by the attorneys. The government argues in closing that former JEA CEO Aaron Zahn and former CFO Ryan Wanamaker used lies and half-truths to deceive the JEA board and the public to fleece the city of Jacksonville and make millions. Zahn and Wanamaker are accused of trying to create an incentive plan, which along with selling JEA would have made them millionaires. The government calls on a wannabe Fortune 200 CEO saying he and Wanamaker presented worst case scenarios as fact and never disclosed how much money would have lined their pockets. Zahn's defense attorneys argue he was hired to shake up and innovate JEA. They say the utility industry was facing well-known headwinds and it's reasonable that Zahn honestly believes JEA needed to explore alternatives like selling the company and creating an incentive plan to retain workers. Zahn's defense called allegations of conspiracy nonsense and allegations of conspiracy to commit wire fraud in the crazy category. Wanamaker's defense attorneys point to testimony from the former COO who praised his character. His defense attorneys claim he would have needed to think he could fool the world about math and the incentive plan and believe the JEA board members understood his explanation of it. Wanamaker's defense attorneys argue it would have looked odd to charge Zahn with conspiracy without someone else involved, suggesting that's the only reason that Wanamaker is facing charges. The two juries have now been in federal court for a month. There was also a mention of Star Wars brought up in the closing arguments. More on that coming up at 6 o'clock on First Coast News. Reporting live at the Federal Courthouse, Renata Gregorio, First Coast News, on your side.